hey guys welcome back so guys this is the continuation of the previous video where we are doing the API okay using resource thing in the eloquent okay so if you go through the laravel documentation and all you will find eloquent API resource so eloquent is nothing but your eloquent model you are using and your resource thing you are using to get the API API means in a JSON format okay so you are using the J JSON format in previous video we have done that all about the API and direct where you are fetching the data directly okay so now I'm going to show you that what previous video we did and uh, yeah first let me show you the output of it API so guys um, these are the data so we are retrieving all this data through the API okay that is JSON format so I'm going to include API at and then give the students okay so this is nothing student is nothing but I have given one route in the API okay so I'll show you inside routes mm, not sorry inside route there's a api.php not web dot it's api.php so I have given students over here so just copy this and give api slash students so you'll get all the data from the student model with the help of resource okay so that is inside app there's one model called student okay I'm using this and my resource is inside app HTTP resource I have made this for the API okay so this is my API where I'm retrieving all the data okay into this whatever the data is there in my table so I'm retrieving over here and showing it by the help of controller so let's go to the controller so this is my controller okay so controller where I'm using this function okay so if you want to know how this function is working is actually um, add the store routes api.php let me save this api.php you have given student controller at show all so it's going to student controller and at show all it's going and retrieving all the data right so we are using over here is a student resource so if you are seeing this resource folder if you are watching from previous video you will know how to create this resource folder I mean resource folder and inside that you will create student.php okay so that is this student resource is nothing but your student resource student.php okay so this is actually over here okay so I am using inside app HTTP resource students okay and I am naming this student as student resource very simple okay then I am collection doing with that with the variable that is bringing all the content of the eloquent model in the student thing right very simple so let's get the this all the data by the single ID this is ID 1 and somewhere ID 2 and this is ID 3 okay so we will be retrieving all this by single ID so guys without wasting time let's get started and uh, yeah guys so first step let me close all this mm, yeah the so first step is that go to your bash and type this code called php artisan make a resource and student okay resource student so guys I have already made this so it is inside my app HTTP resource called student.php right so now let me close this okay so over here you can find I have given some data so these are nothing but this is coming from my database okay that is student thing so after this you have to go to your routes inside route api.php now inside api.php you have give you have give, you have to give the routing thing okay to retrieve by its id so let's give route and get what you are getting getting the data by its id so i will give one uh, url that is um, students by its id okay so id and give comma over here and the use the student controller one controller whatever controller you are using so inside that controller I am going to show at um, show okay or you can tell anything like fetch 
okay fetch data right so let's go to student controller oh we have to give one slash over here okay so let's go to student controller okay so inside app uh, http not provide http controllers student controller right we came here and in previous video we have done this where we are fetching the data okay all now we will fetch it by its id so let's create one function called public hmm, public function what function you are going to create function name so my function name is that inside api.php you have given that fetch data so at fetch data you are going to fetch by its id right so just mention that id open and close now what we have to do is that create one variable so i will create a students variable is equal to and my model name okay my model name is student okay where i am not all find or fail i think okay let's find i just find it by id done and then return it return so let's return so what you're going to return is return new mm, what name i have given yes so i'm using this my resource okay so inside app http controller resource inside resource not controllers wait so inside app http http there is one resource okay inside resource student dot php so i'm using app http resource student and naming this student as student resource so i'm going to copy that and paste it over here and retrieve it okay what i'm going to retrieve that is this student dollar okay so dollar student and give colon done now let's go and check the output for it so guys now it's perfectly done so let's first thing we have to go to our resource okay what we have created the resource okay json resource then go to your api set the path add the student controller mm, which finger okay colon is missing over here then go to student controller at fetch data let's go to student controller at fetch data and find its by id done so let's go give enter so wait i'll show you the exact form so this is the form guys now we have to create api slash students okay api slash students and give enter so this is all the data is fetching right so because this we have given already coding for it in previous video so it's fetching all the data now we have to fetch this only single id so let's give slash one let's see so there is only one single data okay so we are fetching by its id okay so let's press two two okay and let's press four now there is no data actually so it will throw an error okay so let's see it what kind of error comes so trying to get non-object we don't want to get like this kind of thing so let's include one line statement i mean find or fail okay find or fail i think it hope works reload and okay page not found it is telling so we don't want this kind of thing we will tell that there is no data found okay so for that let's code it mm, just remove it and type one simple code so i will use if statement okay so if this dollar students copy this dollar student if dollar student is not found else it should show the data okay so let's cut this line and paste it over here okay done so now you have to give over here that is one will give a return what we will return is that return and response with the json format json format okay 
inside square brackets we will we will type error that is what error by the 404 okay so 404 or might be 400 let's try with this thing 404 okay so and type here like no data available okay on this id called what id you are going to call is that mm, let's mention this id okay so just copy that and paste it into single quotes double dots control v save it and let's see the output okay let's reload and check Oops, it's going to get non property of id i don't know why it's telling like this let me change to 400 okay let's try once again so it's something error over here mm, one sec guys mm, it's actually undefined function okay this response is actually yes okay so let's change that c to yes and now let's go back reload and we'll get something one more uh, one sec okay we have not given that simple mistakes done let's reload and boom okay so it is telling that no data available why because the statements have been been put ulta i think okay so let's try it and change it and work so we'll cut this paste it cut this and paste it okay let's paste it let's go back i'll return reload boom so finally we have got that okay there is no data available on 4 id so let's press 3 and check there is data okay so finally guys we have completed that how to mm, do the api thing okay using our resource okay so guys now finally we have completed that with the api using by id okay so guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share the channel okay guys Please, thank you.